Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my weekend Premier League prediction. Yes, the midweek has played. Yes, there are a few shots. Marco Silva has been sat from Everton. Um, Dan Ferguson will be taking charge of Everton this weekend. Um, but, you know, there's a few other things I want to talk about as well. So let's get down to their fixtures. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what to do, you know what I do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Everton versus Chelsea. Um, Everton lost 5-2 at Anfield in the Merseyside derby. It was the end of a... a, a um, Silver's career as Everton manager. Um, Liverpool, I thought, had a bit of a field down, possibly deserved more goals. Um, Chelsea, on the other hand, running 2 1 at home to Villa. Um, big three points considering on, on the weekend they lost to West Ham. Um, I think it was. Um, but you know, very good game going into both. Um, fourth versus not at eighteenth. Um, you know Everton sitting in the bottom three as it currently stands and looking big trouble. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a three nil Chelsea win. My next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Liverpool. AFC Bournemouth losing one nil at away. Sorry. Crystal Palace, um, yeah, um, Bournemouth were very poor, um, I watched that game, and I'm like, how are Bournemouth where they are, um, very disappointing day for Bournemouth, um, Liverpool beating Everton 5-2, I've just literally mentioned that, great three points for Liverpool, busy schedule for Liverpool, um, coming up, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Liverpool win. My next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Burnley. Um, Tottenham losing 2 1 away at Old Trafford at uh, Man United. Um, I'll look at that and I can't take even a crumb of comfort out of that for United because. Um, Spurs did have their chances and just couldn't take them. Burnley losing 4 1 at home to Manchester City. No big um, surprise there. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Tottenham win. My next one is Watford versus Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace beating Bournemouth at home 1 0. Um, you know, as I said, that game was a <coughs> excuse me. Um, you know, it was such a game that uh, off was going to be nil nil. Um, I think Jeffrey Schlupp got the goal for Palace. Um, Watford losing two nil away from home to uh, Leicester. The problems be uh, are continuing at Watford. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1-0 Crystal Palace win. My next one is the big game on Saturday. It's Manchester City versus Man United. Um, Man City obviously need to win this game to keep the pressure on um, Liverpool. And uh, Man United need to win this game to keep the pressure on the top four. Um, uh, they're currently sitting in sixth, um, you know, and Wolves play Brighton on Sunday, so Man United still need to win it to be able to get the pressure on Wolves. Uh, depends how Sunday's result goes. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 1 Man City win. Could be more, I'm just saying. My next one is Aston Villa versus Leicester. Um, Leicester sitting in second, you know, very comfortably. Uh, Filler in 16th. 
with just one point off the drop. Um, Villa loses 2 1 away to Chelsea. Uh, it's. Um, you know, if you're a Villa fan, please tell me how you're feeling at this part of the season. Um, Leicester beating Watford 2 0 at home. Um, but I'm going to put Leicester down to win this game. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Southampton. Um, Newcastle um, beating Sheffield United 2 0 away from home. Um, Southampton beating Norwich 2 1 at home. Um, this game is important to both clubs for different reasons. Um, it's important for Newcastle to get uh, three points and even move further away from that drop zone. Um, and Southampton, they need the three points to keep the pressure on the bottom three. Um, obviously, some of the bottom three play before this game kicks off. Um, but it's going to be an interesting game. But I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Norwich City versus Sheffield Wednesday. Two promoted clubs. Um, Sheffield United losing 2 0 at home to Newcastle. Norwich losing 2 1 away to Southampton. Um, you know, very good. Um, again, this has got to be two promotion sides, but they're both losing on the midweek games. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Sheffield United win. My next one is Brighton and Valbion versus Wolverhampton. Um, Brighton and Valbion beating Arsenal 2-1 away from home. Um, Wolverhampton beating 2-0. Uh, they beat West Ham 2-0 at home. Um, great three points for Brighton. Great three points for Wolves. Um, you know, Wolves sitting in 5th as it currently stands, Brighton in 13th, um, you know, the Christmas period has begun, um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Brighton win, because I know the MX could be a fortress. Um, my last one is West Ham versus Arsenal. Both teams are very low in confidence. Um, Arsenal losing 2 1 at home to Brighton, um, and West Ham losing 2 0 away to Wolves. Um, right, I'm going to dress up on Arsenal's problems, um, and I'm going to slow, I'm going to talk about West Ham a bit. Um, Arsenal's problems are. I don't think Anaimi was the problem. Don't think I gave him enough time. Um, you know, Arsenal fans mention always top managers. The only f manager that I can think can save you is someone like Chris Shooterson, who plays defensive football. Um, obviously, I still yet to reply someone. Um, West Ham, I can't see where their problems lie. I mean, Arsenal had too many gaps. Um, I don't know what West Ham's problem is, but there's a problem somewhere. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one on scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.